everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. In today's crafting adventure, I have two Americana decor items for you. The first one is this rustic framed stars and stripes. The second is this trio of tall patriotic candles. Here's a list of the tools and materials that I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. For our first DIY project, you're going to need three tall glass candles that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I chose one in white and two in blue. You're going to want to remove any stickers or saran wrap that they may have. You will also need some patriotic ribbon of your choice. I purchased this one from papermart.com. It's two and a half inch wired ribbon. Cut three pieces of your ribbon at 20 inches in length. You'll want to wrap the ribbon around the candle and tie a simple knot. Adjust it and then tie another knot to secure. Go ahead and dovetail your ends. You also need some garland. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. Go ahead and cut four pieces at four inches in length for each candle. You'll want to take the four pieces of garland and twist them together in the center. Then place it behind the knot on the candle. Secure with a dab of hot glue. I have these adorable star buttons left over from a previous project. I did purchase them at Walmart. Simply add some hot glue and place the star over the knot on the candle. If you can't find the buttons, you can always use the table scatter from Dollar Tree. And this is how the blue candle looks with a red star. Well, 
Well, I'm really happy how these patriotic tall candles turned out. Very quick and easy to make and would be a great addition to any 4th of July table. Alrighty, let's move on to DIY number two. For our second craft, we'll be making this adorable, rustic, framed stars and stripes. Here's a list of the tools and materials that I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. To start, you're going to need an 8 by 8 framed piece of artwork. You'll want to use a flathead screwdriver to remove the backing and the hanger from the frame. I just used my wire cutters to pull out the metal prongs. You're going to need some of the giant craft sticks from Walmart. You'll want to measure and cut the giant craft sticks to fit the back of the frame. You're going to need six giant craft sticks. You'll want to use the painter's tape to tape off the glass around the frame to prep it for painting. This is Apple Barrel White Paint. I purchased it from Walmart. You'll want to put one light coat of white paint on the frame first, let it dry, and then apply a second coat. Cardinal Crimson and White You'll want to add equal amounts of water to the paint and mix it thoroughly By adding water to the paint will get more of a stained or a washed effect. Simply paint the craft sticks and then wipe off any excess paint. Then just set them aside to dry. You'll want to use the same technique with the three white craft sticks. Mm -hmm. 
Admiral Blue. You'll want to paint the star with one coat. You don't need to do the star in the center. We'll be painting that white. You'll want to start laying the craft sticks face down and alternating between red and white. We'll be attaching these together by using some of the large craft sticks that you get from the Dollar Tree and hot glue. You'll want to use your sandpaper to distress the star. Simply use it until you get the desired effect you're looking for. Now paint the small star in the center white. Simply attach the star to the backing with hot glue. This handy glass scraper is a great tool to remove any paint that may have leaked through onto the glass. When the frame is completely dry, use your sandpaper and go over and distress it. Once the frame has been distressed with the sandpaper, you'll want to use some antique wax by Waverly to add a little bit more distressing. I like to use the small pouncing brushes for this effect. Just add a small amount of the antique wax and apply using the dry brush method around the edges until you reach your desired effect.
Before assembling the project, you want to make sure to wipe down your glass. You will want to center your backing and then attach it using hot glue. If you would like to hang this patriotic artwork, you can do so by reattaching the hanger that came with the frame, or you can use some jute cord. To attach the jute cord, I simply cut a piece larger than I need, I tie a knot on each end, and then hot glue it to the backing. For some extra security, you'll want to run a bead of hot glue across the bottom and the top. And we're all done with our rustic stars and stripes. Well, I hope you enjoyed our two Americana DIYs. I'm very happy with how they both turned out and I think they will add quite a bit of cheer to my home. Thanks again for stopping by. You have a great day and I will catch you next time.